Hello Turtles! This is a personal story about getting burned out on a project and how I have been dealing with it. Burnout is common enough that my story may help you or others in a similar situation. I do not know anything about psychology or how our magical brains work, but this is how I mostly conquered my burnout situation. In June 2019, the idea of Turbo Boom spawned and pre-production began. Three months later, a fully functioning alpha build existed and testing was going great. The game was pitched to publishers and I was riding a high wave. It began crashing down with the struggles to create and fill the game with content. Level design. Turbo Boom's design called for many short levels, and the pressure to ensure they have something special started a domino effect that eventually led to burnout. With lower inspiration, I took a break and came back, and then took another break and came back. Each time I focused on Turbo Boom, I would get a few weeks to a month of work done before needing to take another break. This on again, off again lasted for about seven or eight months before deciding to push through and wrap up the game. This all had the best of intentions, but it was a difficult struggle. Many mornings I'd wake to focus on the game, but instead stared blankly at my tools without measurable progress. At least it wasn't negative progress. It was clear that something was not working. My brain space was filled with thoughts and desires to work on physics engine or some other step towards my much larger dream project. Still, I tried remaining focused on Turbo Boom. The minimal progress began affecting my mindset. I was getting frustrated more easily and annoyed at little things that shouldn't matter. The stress was increasing significantly and the weight on my shoulders was beginning to crush me. I talked with several of my viewers and considered taking another break, but I wanted to avoid anything that smelled like shiny object syndrome. Shiny object syndrome is when a developer jumps from a current project to a new shiny idea constantly abandoning the projects and never reaching the finish line. It is a real problem that a lot of people suffer from, and I have experienced issues with it in the past. I remain on high alert as I have shifted into making games as a business, and that requires shipping finished products. Turbo Boom was progressing amazingly for the first three and a half months of development, and then I fell flat on my face. I also did this a lot when I was two, but with Turbo Boom, the cause was lack of inspiration for designing levels. So in November 2019, I took a break, and worked on something different to refill the tank. I then came back to make some levels and effectively worked on Turbo Boom for a while before continuing the on-off pattern. In April, after a planned break to explore Unity, I declared there would be no more breaks and I was going to stay focused until I finished. This worked for a bit, but in early July, the ball of meat in my skull was craving something different. My goal is to create a physically accurate online racing simulator and I am building smaller racing games to take steps in that direction. Leaderboards and Ghosts and Turbo Boom were added to create tech and skills for the simulator project. All the track design and polishing do not move the needle towards the simulator, and this has been the primary cause of burnout in Turbo Boom. My development efforts for the last few months were not helping the racing simulator as most of the remaining tasks are polish and wrap up. I had expected the game to require these types of tasks, but I was also aiming to complete the game in 500 hours. Based on my market research of similar games, I needed to aim at the $10,000 to $15,000 ballpark, which meant the game needed to cost less than $10,000 to produce. At nearly 1,000 hours into the project with a cost of over $16,000, it is well over budget and unlikely to return any profit. The objective wasn't strictly to make a profit on the game, but to build technology and skills for future games. This would allow me to be capable of making racing games faster in the future and more likely to make a profit. Still, it is impossible to turn off the alarm that triggered as the costs outgrew the possible returns. Whenever I'm trying to wrap up the project, I'm reminded by the fact that time spent on Turbo Boom is not helping my long-term goals and is unlikely to be recouped financially. There are still a few things I can and will learn from releasing Turbo Boom, and it is certainly worth the effort of completing. There will be a boost of confidence in finishing and lessons to learn about marketing, not to mention my community is really looking forward to competing with the final game. There's also a microscopic chance that players will flock to the game and make it a golden egg. One can never know without releasing. There are several things to improve or finish before the game can be released. This will happen after one or more breaks. How I overcame burnout. While talking to my neighbor, who I consider a mentor for my business, we discussed the issues at hand. Talking to someone who listens and asks the right set of questions is immensely helpful. It is important that your friend remain unbiased to the situation or at least think differently from yourself to inspire viewing the problem from new perspectives. During our conversation about the reasons why I was burned out from Turbo Boom, 
my neighbor turned to me and asked, what are your long-term goals? He already knew the answer, but he asked the question again to remind me what is important for the big picture. I answered, I want to build a physically accurate online racing simulator. We bounced through the causes of burnout from Turbo Boom, primarily being over budget and misaligned efforts. My neighbor also knew of the plan to create many small racing games to build towards the end goal. He then asked me a potent question, why not do games as a hobby? I had to ask for clarification and ultimately the idea was to combine the best parts of hobby development with doing games as a business to fit my needs. For my adventure, this means small games will not be produced with a direct intention of sales. The first few months of development propel the business forward by aligning efforts with the racing simulator, but the rest of the development cycle does not. I will be covering the development cycle in a future video, so subscribe now to learn about it. The first few months of a project builds the tech and features. By selecting good ideas, this effort will remain aligned with the simulator and still be completed or worked on as a business effort. The next phases of a project, however, are not as flexible with alignment and, as I found out with TurboBoom, can take significant effort. This is where I will switch the project to hobby mode. During hobby mode, I can shift the focus to building content for the smaller games as there will be times I need to take a break from the simulator to remain sane. If one of the games later becomes complete enough or proven to take little time, then it may get the business spotlight again and shipped as a product. This hobby mode takes the pressure off building high quality games to ensure I remain focused on my dream project. It still makes sense to do smaller racing games along the way to reduce risk and stay sane, and perhaps some will reach the quality required to ship. For the immediate burnout issue, I've taken a break from Turbo Boom as I am waiting for other logistics to work out. In the downtime, I've begun working toward my simulator in other ways, like starting the physics engine. For future small games, I will reduce the pressure by not pushing to ship each of them as a product, only doing so under the perfect conditions. Thanks for sticking through my story of burnout, and if you would like to answer the following question in the comments, that would be great. When are you most productive? Morning or evening? Please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, share it with others who would be interested, and subscribe for more game development tips and tricks. Until later, Turtles, have a good one.